How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this boot review and unboxing video of the Adidas Predator Pros. These are the middle tier of the Predator lines and you're looking for roughly around 120 to 130 euros a pound to get these football boots. Now do look out for older colorways on the Adidas app, Adidas store um, or website and you may be able to get them for around roughly 90 to 100 euros a pound or sometimes even cheaper. So make sure to have a look around and do your do your searching before buying the newest one, especially if a budget is, you know, something with that you're looking out for and you want to get the cheaper versions and you don't really mind about the colorway, then do have a look, good search before buying them as you may be as you may be able to save around 20 to 30 or more euros for these Predator Pros. Now, in terms of the up of the material, the quality is very similar to the Elite models. In terms of the control materials, we didn't find it to be too much of a difference between the two boots. Of course, maybe there's much more of an emphasis with the Elite models as you're going to be paying double the price than the Pro Editions. However, in terms of the, the strike materials on the side of the boots near the toe box area, it's very, very similar in terms of that for first touch feel for the ball we didn't really find too much of a difference between the hybrid touch um, between the two of the predator elites and then the pro editions so in that sense if you're you know if you haven't got the money to pay for the elites going for these pro editions there really is no not much difference between the two um, of course as we said the difference in the quality of the material but it's very very minor differences the sole plate with the plastic studs is exactly the same as the Elite is. And the good thing about these Pro Editions is sided more to the Elite models in terms of the quality of plastics used than, than let's say the lower versions of the Adidas Predators, um, the League Editions, which is much more of a less quality uh, plastics and can be broken easier. So the durability of these plastic studs are much more better. And in terms of giving you that kind of uh, comfort when you're wearing the boots the lockdown and stability when wearing them on different surfaces like fgag it's fairly similar to the elite models um, so that's a very nice touch that these pro have in terms of sole plate you can wear these on fgag so firm ground and artificial pitches like 3g 4g but as we always recommend do give them at least a minimum of a week out of the box use we would use it for at least two weeks just for the material on the upper to soften up because these preds with the sympathetic material does take a bit of time to soften up. And then once they soften up more, then you can take them into team training or matches, but do give them at least a week of your own personal training or with friends before you do that, just so you're used to the boots and it reduces any small chance of injuries and also helps out with performance in terms of the small details. Now we wouldn't wear these on like sand pitches, 2G pitches, do have a look online, especially on the Adidas website. They are starting to bring out the new versions of the 2G, 3G models, which is much more of a flatter plastic studs on the sole plate. So if you wear it on there, it's much more better for your feet and reduces any chance of injuries. And then also you won't break off the plastic studs on these boots. So do have a look. And yeah, it's probably a better option for you to, to wear those ones than these on the sand pitches and 2G we wouldn't recommend it from our end to wear these on those surfaces. Just keep it simple as the FG. Uh, you can also wear it on like firm ground real grass pitches when it's a little bit wet, but when it's too muddy, go for the SG editions of these. And also 3G, 4G, you can also wear these in terms of the artificial pitches because there's no point paying two, two pairs of FG and then a, another one just for AG if you're gonna be playing on multi surfaces. Save the money and just go for one pair than getting two of course if you're just going to be playing on ag if they if you know you're going to be playing on 3g 4g pitches throughout the whole season and you won't be playing on firm ground and real grass pitches then go for the ag models but if you're playing for multi-surfaces stick with the fg as always make sure to leave a comment down below also in terms of if you have these pro editions in this colorway or in an older colorway in terms of what you think as it really helps out people that are watching this video now decide to see if they should go for these or if they should go for a different pair of boots. But just to highlight the sizing, of course, as well, as we've done on previous editions of the Pro on the different colorways, these are more targeted for, you know, wide and very wide feet players. 
So for narrow to normal feet types, go anywhere from a half to one size down, depending on how you like your comfort. If you like it really snug, then you may need to go one full size down, especially for people with narrow feet. For normal feet types, go a half size down if you want that snug and tight feeling. Going true to size will give you a bit more space and leeway, especially in the midfoot and toe box area, once you've done up the laces. And then for wide and very wide feet, start off with true to size. Um, for wide feet, that should do it nicely and give you that nice and snug fit. If you want a bit more spacious area, then go a half size up. And the same applies for very wide feet. Just go a half size up to get a bit more space. Um, and it may be very snug and tight fitting for you if you go half size up as well. Shouldn't really need to go one full size up for these Predator Pros as they're targeted for wide and very wide feet. But go according to your own comfort. If you feel like you need to go one full size up, then go one full size up to get that kind of comfortable feeling when wearing these Predators. But all in all, a very, very reliable pair of boots that will be, you know, adjustable and fit all different feet types you just got to find the right sizing and use what we have recommended to you to find the sizing for you um, and likewise durability we've had the older colorways that's lasted a year now or one season on both surfaces we've worn on it's going very strong no major dents or damages maybe minor shows of wear and tear but that can be done with just cleaning the boots and it'll be like new and ready to go again and we recommend and we reckon, sorry, these will go for at least two seasons, um, especially if you haven't got the money to upgrade every year. These are very durable and reliable pair of football boots that we recommend from our end. But once again, thanks again for watching this video in terms of you know our unboxing and recommendation and review. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe to our channel. And we shall see you next time for another unboxing and review in the near future. All the very best and take care.